Virgos, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to House of Virgo. <laughs> Almost forgot the name of my channel. Um, if you're new, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button if you like my readings. This is a Virgo channel. You do not have to be a Virgo sun sign to listen. You can be any sign and have Virgo in other placements in your chart. Um, so yeah, this is going to be your love reading going into the month of November. I'm going to do a Celtic cross. There may be an extended reading. I'll let you know. Um, and if you would like to book a personal reading, purchase any of my decks, everything you need to know is in the description box below this video. All right, you guys. Hi, everybody in the chat. Hope everybody's doing well. Um, so just a quick note. I'm going to start. You know how I was doing the shorts? Um, and I had to stop for a minute, but I think I'm going to start adding the shorts with um, Virgo and what other zodiac sign you might be dealing with. Okay, so we're going to try that out, see how that goes, see how that works. Okay, um, but that's my plan, we'll see. All right, let's get into your reading, Virgo. Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. What are the messages for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus? Romance Angels. What does Virgo need to know to start here? Okay, finances and career. Well, that's right up your alley, Virgo. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Okay. And you also have, this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner that you seek, Virgo. Okay. Um, now, these could be your financial issues. These could be another person's financial issues. We'll see how things play out. Also, children, your love life is being affected by children. Okay, so three very important messages there for you guys to know. All right, let's get into this Celtic cross and see what the messages are here for you. All right, past position. Okay, nine of pentacles in the reverse, okay? So Virgo, that's a Virgo card right there. So in the past, there may have been for some of you this energy of kind of mm, working your butt off, you know, uh, it may be you, it could be another person, um, financial setbacks for sure. And I know a lot of people went through and had some major financial setbacks, lost a lot of money, um, lost work, that kind of thing, working extra hard to make up that money. Um, but also the nine of pentacles in reverse can be um, a lack of independence or a lack of stability um, and or security or spending recklessly. Okay. It's also a card of being in a relationship with someone in the past where there might have been instability or insecurity. Okay, I feel like a lot of you might resonate with that. Let's see what the present energy is here. Okay, so you're standing your ground here, Virgo. You've got something going on in your life. Standing up for your beliefs. Um, fighting in your own corner. Being protective. Maybe a bit defensive. I feel like you're challenging, you're challenging yourself, you're challenging belief systems, you're challenging things that have happened in the past. You're really taking um, a stand here, holding your ground, um, taking the high road for some of you. You're doing something unorthodox here in your life. And this feels like from where you've come from to where you are now, two different places. You know, I feel like there might have been a lot of suppression or oppression and a feeling of just not being able to get out on your own or um, break away from an unstable relationship or um, get out of something in the past that was just really had you in a really bad way. And here you are right now taking the high ground, you know, fighting back, protecting what's yours, protecting your beliefs, challenging yourself to old ways of thinking. And, um, you know, I see a lot of stamina, you know, Virgo, you're being very strong 
and I see you currently not taking any crap from anybody really that's just the energy that's Leo energy there so we have Leo Virgo okay some might be a cusper for some what's the what's crossing you here oh you're fighting back these tears Virgo you refuse to cry you're refusing to be sad you're refusing to be in a sense of grief you've been in grief long enough in the past um, are feeling like just a lack of security and a reckless you might have been involved or there might have been a relationship that was reckless you know I feel like right now you're you're pushing back on any kind you're pushing back on the trauma you're you're not regretting um like you're pushing back on that you're fighting that off you're fighting off guilt you're you're accepting I feel like what your role was in something and you're setting yourself free okay um but you're not taking on anybody else's guilt or blame you're fighting for your your you're fighting i see you fighting okay you're 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 fighting emotional instability you're not focusing on the loss i feel like you're telling yourself no i'm this is going to be a win for me whatever that is something from uh, some kind of past relationship okay or something that happened in the past I just uh, you know it's like you're you refuse to be down and out you know uh, it, that's just really the the energy here you have a lot of drive within you at this time okay hmm yeah some of you are up against the devil you're fighting the devil <laughs> fighting and, and that's an energy of course fighting an addiction or um, depression you're fighting back against that fighting for your mental health fighting against any kind of issues it's I just feel like you're telling yourself no I will not be I will not allow myself to play a victim I will not allow myself to overly mourn to be saddled in sickness and ill health um you're just making a huge change here you're fighting against dependency some of you might like i said there was a lack of independence in the past you might have had a codependency thing going on with someone in the past and I feel like you're standing up for yourself here you've got a huge battle and I feel like this devil energy that's Capricorn right there and there's also Scorpio I feel like this devil energy is trying to keep you in a sense like in, in a place of grief and long-term powerlessness and I just feel like you're saying no it's not going to happen it's not going to happen so that's the current energy for you what is driving what is driving all this for you? Okay, you have the three of pentacles, Capricorn energy. You're learning. You've been learning things, been understanding yourself. You've been studying. You're getting clarity. You, uh, you've come across some type of information or you're coming across some kind of information that is saying to you or letting you know that commit to yourself hard work you can you can come out of something that was not healthy for you, you you've been learning that's what I feel like that three of Pentacles is is a card of studying and growing and learning okay learning what you want learning what you deserve understanding yourself better yeah I just feel like you're fighting a huge battle right now and you just refuse to succumb you're fighting the devil and you've got a huge battle right now that you're facing or that you're dealing with huge battle but you I just feel like I don't even know what the word is you know you know you're you're just not taking no for an answer you refuse to be defeated whatever it is in your it, it could be your finances money issues you're going to keep pushing on um fighting for your children your grandchildren your family um 
this card of this could be the one hmm I feel like whoever you were connected to in the past something told you this was the person but maybe it wasn't the right time or maybe things got very or became very unhealthy or things got triggered within you I don't see you giving up though okay what's crowning you all right in your head you're taking some kind of break you, your mental state okay you're you're abandoning all previous plans you're letting go okay that's your head space right now going into self-analysis taking a journey escaping self-discovery introspection looking deeper you're withdrawing okay um and some of you are just taking a break and telling yourselves you know i keep fighting this battle i keep fighting this this devil energy and it's it's making my heart break even more and i feel like some of you right now might be actually thinking to yourself maybe i need maybe the best way for me to fight this battle is to get out of the war zone is to to just go awol and to move on and disappear and walk away and you know move forward you know and and i feel like that's in your head space at this time i, I gotta tell you virgo fighting that devil energy that's exhausting fighting these this the evil the evil powers that be the toxicity um fighting back against that you got to be some kind of person to be able to withstand that and and at, sometimes walking away is winning and for some of you if you're getting to this place where you feel like the devil is winning whatever that means for you that devil energy whatever that means for you um some of you i do feel like your your thought processes or spirits coming down and, and telling you to move to move stop fighting this for some of you the only the only person that can fight against the devil is who archangel michael some of you might be calling on archangel michael um maybe you're calling on god i don't know what's going on fighting against an addiction sometimes you know surrendering is winning and I feel like you guys are kind of in this mix here right now. If that devil energy, I feel like it represents some kind of toxicity. I, I'm not necessarily calling someone a devil, okay? Um, I feel like it's an energy of someone, people, places, or things that you're currently, you're, you're, I mean, you're a good fighter, Virgo. But I think some of you are kind of like, you know, maybe either I need to take a break and go back to my corner and regroup so I can come back stronger or I just need to like walk away for good. So, you know, I feel like right now you're learning about what you need to do for yourself and what is the best option at this time. OK, so you're you're, you're part of you like your head's like, no, let me go. And but your feet, you know, and you're learning, you're walking the walk and you're learning but your, your, your homeostasis right now is dukes up and you're still fighting. So you're kind of in this transition and um, hmm, some things for you to consider there. What is coming towards you here, Virgo? Okay, the moon. Wow, I think you're gonna go into some kind of hiding. Yeah, um, <clears throat> man, but I don't know who's reading this is, but this is detrimental. I feel like you're going to get, um, for some of you, a lot of messages in your dreams. Now, also remember, we are still in that um, partial solar new moon eclipse in Scorpio. And that is a time when there's a lot of re revelations and dreams. Like, for example... I'm not, I don't generally dream. I don't know why. Some people are, you know, maybe because I get fluid messages all the time, like in my waking hours. But I did have a dream last night that I was in Vietnam and I was getting a, a, a facial in Vietnam by a Vietnamese girl. And then I was sitting at a table with a, with a Vietnamese family. Um, the only Vietnamese people I know are um, the lady that does my nails, but um, she wasn't even in the dream. And 
there was a flood, a tsunami of some sort that was coming. And it was just, I, I can't decipher what it means. I have no idea and I'm still trying to figure it out. But I think the message that I'm trying to give you is that your dreams, are, your subconscious is going to start coming up. Things that you're, you know, you're fighting this battle right now and, and there's a part of you that just wants to escape. But I feel like, and you're, and you're learning and you're searching for answers at the same time. But this moon energy coming towards you, things are going to be revealed to you. Some of you might have already started last week on the 18th. You've been getting these dreams. That moon is Piscean energy. You know, that's kind of like, uh, that's all about our dreams, um, our fears, our anxieties, our subconscious, you know, our illusions, our intuition. Now, why do you need to know this? Why do you need to know? Okay, four of wands in the reverse. Hmm. Some of you might have a dream about a breakup or a divorce. You might be dreaming or, or something. You might get a, a message about 1111. Um, a lot of you, I know, you're like, what does it mean? Why do I keep seeing it? You, that might be revealed to you in your dreams coming up, um, if it hasn't already. Um, some of you may have a dream about leaving home. Um, you may have a dream about a reunion not happening. Hmm. And some of you, your intuition is going to call to you like loud and clear um, that what you might have thought was the one, that person you've already met, your intuition might be telling you, no, that's not the person. Okay, that's um, Aries energy right there. Um, somebody might be on the cusp of Pisces Aries, March 19th, 20th. Um, that I feel like was not meant to be. I don't know why, I, I, but I don't feel like forever. I just feel like whatever you were attached to in the past, whomever, people, places, or things, um, that feels like it was a timing issue uh, because yeah I know this is crazy how could it be the person if there was this devil energy or addictions or things like that I'm, I'm not really sure but I, I can tell you that what I'm feeling is some of you are really going to get that message coming up that it's it's time if you haven't already done it to like a very strong intuitive vibration that you got to leave because this isn't something for you to keep battling it's it's a battle it should not be a battle i just want to get a clarification card for okay wow yeah the past i don't know if you could see that yeah nine of cups in the reverse shattered dreams nightmares unhappiness devastation misery lack of fulfillment so you were fighting to hold on to something with someone in the past that could not meet your needs or could not fulfill your needs, okay? And you were fighting and fighting, and this person had that toxic energy, and you were trying to stay afloat. You're still trying to stay afloat. You don't want the sadness. You don't want the grief. You're battling something that's bigger than you. The person who's got this toxic energy in them can't even battle that themselves. Um, some of you suffered from weight gain. Um, some of you for, were looking for quick results, quick answers to whatever problems you had in the past. There might have been a lot of greed, laziness. Someone was very passive, um, not you know, meeting you halfway, like, wow, what a struggle for you, Virgo, and I'm really sorry you went through that. Someone was not uh, taking care of the children the way you needed. You were fighting for someone that either, for some of you, it just wasn't the right time, or that just was not your person, and you might have thought it was. Okay. Yeah, you're holding on. Look at that. 
four of pentacles or this person was holding on as well to not let you go you guys see i just feel like you know when you have that devil energy in one person it's not the person it's almost like they're like it's like they need an exorcism it's like they're they're possessed and and that energy is like a is is viral you know what i mean and some of you were just fighting and still are to keep yourselves alive to keep yourselves like from being all consumed by that i i don't i mean i could go into specifics you might have been dealing with someone that was very spiritually disordered you know um this could have been a family member some of you might be coming to terms with you know what i can't fight with that narcissistic parent or that selfish parent or that sibling or that colleague at work it's overwhelming it's killing me i go home and i just you're fighting off this grief or or that love relationship it's it's devastating you you know it's 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 infecting your life and some of you are just right now learning how to walk away you know i feel like you're going to get that message so coming up soon that confirms what you already know for a lot of you that you need to do let's see what your advice is some of you need to take the kids i know a lot of you are older and your kids are grown but for those of you who have like young children you need to take those kids and and give them a healthier environment um, some of you need to get out of that job and some of you need to get away from that person you thought was the one. All right, your advice. Wow. You have the um, Knight of Swords in the reverse. Hmm. Listen, your advice here is to acknowledge the fact that this situation is out of control, okay? It's out of your hands you got to give it to spirit you got to give it to god you got to ask for help with whatever this situation is and i feel like some of you are you're kind of trying to learn it and do it yourself but if you don't want to ask for help don't miss this opportunity i feel like you're going to be given an opportunity to remove yourself from something that is just not help healthy for you and I feel like your advice is don't miss the opportunity to run or to, to just bolt out of there as fast as you can. Okay. Some of you, yeah. You're just going to go like to church, ask for help. If, you go, if you're someone that attends church, um, ask for help on the job to get like, um, be transferred to a different department. Ask for assistance to help with your children. Um, Some of you are leaving the marriage or the commitment. And for some of you, that might, that well, it sits it's in your advice here. Some of you are getting away from social groups that are very negative. I was part of a group on um, social media, and I really loved the topic, but the community was so toxic that I had to leave it. It just was like, I, I, and you could just tell, you know, when you get involved in certain groups, I actually just got rid of my social media again. I'm just like, I can't do this anymore. It's so toxic, you know, and that is what the Hierophant can represent. Um, social groups, social media. Some of you, the advice is you need to like get off social media if you haven't already. Some of you have. I know some of you are already feeling, or at least have been feeling the effects of the toxicity of social media and what it's become. You know, I mean, nuclear energy can be used for the good or the bad. And I think it's all up to you, you know, and I say the same about social media. It can be used for the good, but it can be used for the bad. But if, if you're on there and you're feeling like, you know, I do not want to be part of this world. I want to be part of my intimate, close world, people that I see face to face. Like you've got a lot. This feels like a very... You know, we started off with a romance reading, but this feels like a very profound reading for life change. You know, it's not just a relationship. It, it's, it's your career. It's your mental health. It's your social life. 
getting away from, rather than fighting back the demons, remove yourself from the bloody battle. You know, um, Taurus energy there. Some of you, when I was saying don't miss the opportunity, I feel like there's an opportunity for you to go back to school, get, get an, more of an education, maybe become a teacher or teach in some environment. It's a good opportunity. There's a lot of opportunities coming your way. Um, that are gonna help change your beliefs for the better. Share your knowledge. You might do something in your career or change your career and do something where, you know, you're sitting behind a camera like me and you're on YouTube sharing some knowledge, right? Or wherever. Okay, so I feel like this can also be um, switching, as I said, some type of a career situation. Switching, uh, working. Some of you might go from working in the corporate world to more of a spiritual nonprofit um, where you will get paid, that kind of thing. Um, so anyway, the advice really is pay attention to the opportunities that are coming. Take them when they come. And you may not want to. You may not understand why. Okay? Um, take them anyway because you're going to find out why. Sometimes gifts, these are the, the gifts of mystery. We're not always meant to know why. But they're gifts. And you should never look a gift horse in the mouth. You should accept the gifts. Right? Sometimes they're burdens. But they're for a reason. And usually they're to promote growth and healing. Let's see what's external to you. What's going on external to you? For some of you, this might even just be fighting a battle in your own mind. Okay? Fighting a battle in your own mind. Your belief systems, old tapes running, things that people, places, and things have said to you. Um, changing. Rather than exhausting yourself with that... Um, Seven of Wands, this is kind of like just getting some new tapes to play. Learning, studying, removing yourself, going on that journey. What's external to Virgo? What's going on? What's the external energy? Okay, wow, the High Priestess, amazing. What did I say about the mystery? Mystery gifts coming in as well. Intuition, inner knowing, self-trust, spiritual insight, emotional stability, divination, esoteric wisdom, knowledge, things yet to be revealed, and your spirit guides are all around you. You guys, this morning, I was cleaning up my junk drawer and reorganizing it because, hey, I'm a Virgo. I couldn't get the drawer open anymore, and I thought, hmm, I... I better take a little time and sort this out. So while I was doing that, um, my hallway light all of a sudden just started going on and off as if someone was standing by the switch and flicking it. It wasn't flickering fast. It was intermittently and then it would stop. And then a few minutes later, it started going and I started, I videotaped it, videotaped, I recorded it on my phone. And I was like, what is going on? So, you know, Spirit guides, spirit guides. And I have yet to um, download the message that they were trying to give me. Um, I figured they'll let me know when it's time for me to know. But I acknowledge them. I acknowledge them. And I feel like that's going to be happening to a lot of you. If it isn't already, you're seeing things, you're getting these um, mysterious things happening that are external to you things in your home, things you're seeing, um, seeing the same numbers over and over. Um, you're being called. You're being, you're, you're, someone's trying to get a message to you and I, I feel like it's your spirit guides. Wow. Ten of Cups. Oh, 
Okay, they just gave me a message here. Someone wants you to come home. Someone wants to see you again. Family, a marriage partner, <laughs> a relationship that was long-term. Someone wants you to be happy or spirits want you to be happy again. I feel like they're trying to send you a message that things will work out for you and things are going to be okay. Right now, you don't know, you know, you, you don't know what to expect. If, if this is connected to a love relationship or say it was someone, like I said before, that you're connected with in the past that wasn't healthy, you don't know how things are going to go. And you might have been trying to control the narrative of how that person, maybe you were trying to fix somebody so that, you know, they would be able to fall in line with you. But a lot of you, I feel like are coming to terms with, you know, I'm just, Jesus, take the wheel, man. <laughs> you know, hands off the wheel. I don't know what's going to happen, but I, I know I can't keep fighting this because it's going to just destroy me. I'm going to have no energy left. Nothing left for me. Nothing left for my kids. Nothing left for family. I can't, I can't work. I can't concentrate. I'm not sure that this person is the one. I think they're the one, but why is it so difficult? Or why did these things happen in the past? And some of you are, you know, one day you're like, yes, this is my person. The next day, no, I don't want that person back. You're, you're not stable yet. You're just trying to survive. And I feel like spirit's trying to let you know right now that it's okay. You can let go. You're going to get confirmation of that. And they're also letting you know that they're, you know, external to you. They're floating around there in the air, watching over angel guides, spirit guides, Pisces, double Pisces there. But as far as romance goes, um, I feel like, you know, I feel like um, we all have, um, we all pick up these viruses as we get, as we get older, right? And, and our immune systems are supposed to be fighting them off. But sometimes that one little virus gets in and it's like, almost has someone on the brink of death if there's addictions or if someone's a sex addict um, or they're living their life very unhealthily unhealthy um, if they're violent if not just them but if there's um, depression mental issues abandonment Um, codependency for sure, bondage, all that stuff, materialism. Um, abuse. These are things we pick up as we grow, as we be, as we go f as in our development in our years. And if we don't have that healthy environment around us, apart from being psychotic, are born like a natural born killer I feel like uh, and this is a very spooky Halloweenish reading isn't it I feel like um, don't hate the player hate the game I, I don't know who needed to hear that but they just gave me that phrase don't hate the player hate the game right um, whoever you were connected with in the past does have a deep feeling within them that you are their person that you are the one that they seek but something infected uh, some type of virus that devil energy that toxicity got into that relationship and that relationship cannot keep going on in that environment someone has to break the cycle break the pattern you might have already done it or you're doing it okay there's that damn gemini again you guys although this is aquarius here 
Some of you have said to another person, and you gave them some truth, deep intuitive truth. Yes, you did. And you were strong. You were realistic in your expectations of another person. And this person, whoever they are, has heard you. Oh, they've heard you. Some of you told somebody you were cutting them out or you're cutting it off and you're done. There you go. Ace of Swords. Taking that knife, cutting the cord. That's a reality check. You gave somebody a reality check and this person, they hear you and they believe you. They have that clarity. Yet at the same time, this person, you are for them and they are for you. Okay. That's how they feel. That's how they feel. How do you feel? Mm, I think you just want to get out of the battle right now. And I'm going to go into the extended reading to see, you know, please understand that my extended readings don't always mean, oh, happily ever after. I feel like this person here does want that healing. That is what this rainbow is. That is what the good luck is all about. Happy family, happiness, joy, long-term relationship, marriage, stability, security. I feel like this person is taking to heart. You're cutting them out and or you uh, giving them a, a truth bomb. Okay. <laughs> so you have the six of cups, or I'm sorry, the six of wands in the reverse. You have a great big fear of failure, of losing. Some of you fear being hunted or stalked. Um, You fear being in a place of disadvantage yet. Some, so overall, some of you have a fear you're making the wrong decision. And you're questioning, you're second guessing yourselves. Now, I know some of you in the chat are going to say, no, nope, not me. It's not my reading. Okay, well, I'm not talking to you then. There's somebody here. They might not be in the chat. They might be listening. And they're shaking their head. Yeah. I mean, get honest with yourself. Are you second guessing yourself? And if you are... It's probably because of your codependency, because for some reason you might believe that you can fix people, which you cannot. You can lead a horse to water, but you cannot make them drink. That's all you can do is lead the way. Whoever follows, follows. And if they don't, they're left behind. You cannot carry people. You ain't Jesus, you megalomaniac. So you have to understand yourself here okay I feel like you're hoping you'll be the victor in this situation okay uh, your fear of making a mistake or making a wrong decision is is about your ego that's all it is because I feel like everything else is trying to tell you um, no this is the path and if you're not listening to it, it's it's because you you don't want to fail. You don't want to be wrong. And you don't want to hurt anybody. You know? You're hoping, some of you are hoping to get the recognition you feel like you deserve for all the effort you've put in to try to make a re relationship work. Listen, you will get the rec recognition. You don't need the validation from people who don't um, deserve you. The validation should come from the supernatural, the one who created you, who created your soul. That's all the validation you need. So you're kind of like, nah. you're like, eh, my ego's in check. My ego's not in check. You're back and forth. You're flipping all over the place. That's okay. That's part of the process of change. Let's see what the outcome is here for you. Sometimes your ego is going to take over, you know, and sometimes it's not. I always say if you have like a, a line, <laughs> let's draw a line, right? Say that's a line. Okay. Um, overly confident and egotistical at one end. Overly insecure, still, ego still egotistical. 
So somewhere in the middle is kind of where you want to be, right? Between humility and confidence. Let's see what your outcome is. We're all on a learning grade, a learning curve. Every single one of us is, it's a constant lesson. As long as we're open to the lesson, which you are, the learning, whatever comes your way, you're definitely, all that learning and understanding about self and about a connection or relationship of some sort that you previously were, were in up until this point and whatever residuals left over, your learning is what's going to release you. Education is power. All right, your outcome. All right, you have the Page of Pentacles reversed and you have the Lovers reversed. Hold on. Am I breathing like Darth Vader in this microphone? I'm sorry. I have the mic I have the mic like under my nostrils. I look like I'm on oxygen in the hospital here. Okay. Page of Pentacles reverse. So, hmm. Well, I do there's a breakup, okay? You're going to end this. Whatever this is. There's a split. Okay. Or there's a moving out of the house. Um, there's moving away, um, returning the, the records, giving back the key. Okay. Um, some of you are, are making this decision here. That's the lovers. Upright or reversed is always a decision card. Uh, there's trust, too many trust issues within yourself and within this, there's a conflict. It's, there's a disconnect. Someone is not taking accountability for their actions and you're not going to take accountability for somebody else's actions. Okay. You didn't commit any, cr you didn't commit their crimes. Therefore you are not going to be incarcerated for somebody else's crimes that they committed only your own. Okay. You're having a new beginning here. You're starting something new and you're, it's physical movement here is what I see. You've got this initiative. Look, Virgo, you're a fighter right here. But sometimes I feel like I said before, sometimes the best way to win is to surrender and just tell those people, place, have at it. You can have it go for it. It's all yours. I'm the victor in the end. It's a win-win for you, you know? Um, but if you stay and you keep fighting, you keep fighting. It's not that you won't win, but I don't feel like it's a battle worth fighting. And, and I feel like it's really important for you to ask yourself, like, am I, what battles am I choosing here? Where am I wasting my energy? Is, am I wasting my time? putting all my energy and effort into something that, you know, it's not even worth fighting for. That's the discernment. So I feel like the outset here is like, it's like a seasonal thing, you know, um, when the summer has all the glorious, beautiful flowers and the birds are out and the weather's warm and just like the spring, everything's growing, beginning anew. You come into that end of the season where you're just letting things settle okay and going into that dormant season which is the hermit card you know for some of you to self-reflect to gain spiritual understanding so that you can have new growth so you can have a new start a new beginning some of you listen I'm not gonna lie to you a family member uh, a friend Sometimes absence and separation is what's needed rather than forcing your will or fighting to keep something alive. You know, uh, even, even a physician or an emergency room doctor, you know, when they're trying to resuscitate someone's heart, even they put a cap on how much time they're going to keep pumping air 
and pushing to keep somebody alive. Sometimes you just have to let things die in order to have that growth, that renewal. Look, see that wand? And it's got those little leaves on it? That's regrowth, that's new. And I, I just kind of get a sense that for you, some of you might have been holding on too tightly and trying to push a square peg into a round hole. Why? Because you felt like this person is the one? Are they the one? They could be. They certainly feel like you are the one for them. But you have some things that you have to sort out yourself. And you can do that. And if someone isn't willing to either let you go, because when we let go, we let go because we love people, or isn't willing to take the opportunity to reconsider and make their changes that they need to be, then you have to move on and have a new start in your life. You have to have re new growth, right? Because it's seasonal. This is the pattern. This is the way of life. It's like the Tao. It's the way. You know what I mean? You have to follow the way. The Summer doesn't revert back to spring and punch and kick and crawl and say, come with me, come with me, come with me. No, spring just lets go and summer just evolves. And that's how it happens, right? And that letting go is like a practice for you. And for some of you, it's just a matter of separating yourself from those thoughts, those beliefs, those hopes and wishes, and, you know, Jesus take the wheel, that kind of energy. I feel like this reading is so long, but I am going to go into the extended because I want to see whoever this person is, we might be able to get some more clarity. For some of you, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, we do have a court card here, okay, um, wherever that might be in their sign, and I will leave that link in the description box below to see um, what is going to be going or occurring on their end after you make this decision and come to that finality like you know I'm disconnecting and I don't know for how long I just know I'm doing it okay so let me see what are your Chinese signs here okay so year of the pig year of the rooster year of the rat Year of the dog, year of the ox, year of the goat, oh, year of the pig again, year of the horse, did I say dog? Okay, year of the dog, two dogs, woof woof, and dragon. You know what? They just said get one more. I don't usually do that. Okay, well, that's the horse again. Show us something different. Okay, the horse. Wait, how many are there? There's 12, isn't there? <laughs> there we go. Year of the monkey. Okay. Now, that could be you. That could be your person. Um, and it, Or it could be none of you. So, try not to sweat it too much, you know. Um, the messages come as they resonate for you. All right, let me just get some messages of love here. Your readings have been so profound lately, I have to say. They have been incredibly profound, and I feel like it has a lot to do with this new moon in Scorpio. My rising is Scorpio, um, and man, I am so connected to that underworld shit. <laughs> all the time, I get those messages all the time, and sometimes, you know, that profoundness, that, that darkness comes up. Like, I'm pulling stuff. Hades is calling me, Persephone. <laughs> And this is a time period. Actually, if you if you um, if you know the story of Hades and Persephone, um, this is the time period where Persephone goes down into the underworld with Hades. Uh, read that story. That's actually the story. Hades, the underworld, the god of the underworld, I think, resides in Scorpio, and we're coming in like we're in Scorpio season. And Hades. Now, there's a few different versions. Of Persephone. Um, I was told that Persephone was Libra 
and that Demeter is Virgo who is Persephone's mother and there's a story and I'm just going to tell you this really quick um, and if I'm wrong feel free to correct me but I don't think I am um, the glyph of Virgo is do you remember it's the M um, right that's the glyph for Virgo. I hope you can see that. And the glyph for Scorpio is with the pointed arrow. And Libra is in between them. Scorpio and Virgo. Okay, so if you have a connection with Scorpio, so or even if you don't, it doesn't matter. They were once one sign. Okay, that's the story that I read. That is why Virgo and Scorpio both have that M shape. They were once one sign and Virgo, um, Libra came in and interrupted it and they split off. Many people find themselves, as many Virgos find themselves with a lot of Scorpio in their natal chart and many um, Scorpios find themselves with a lot of Virgo in their natal chart. And many of those signs actually come together. Um, I feel like Libra's attention, because Libra is the Venus sign and it is the sign of partnerships, I feel like Libra being the card of justice and the mediator was meant to bring them two together. Because if you look, this is the Alpha and the Omega, and this kind of looks like an equal sign, you know, but for some reason, there's a similarity between the two signs. So that's just kind of a little astrological lesson that I've learned. If, if you know any more to that, leave it in the chat or leave it in the comments. Um, I always found that a bit fascinating because I looked at both of them and I was like, why do they have very similar signs? And that was the story. So the story goes that Persephone... Um, and I'm not sure that's right because some people say Persephone is the sign of Virgo and that Hades um, kidnapped Persephone and holds her hostage six months out of the year. And that is why um, Demeter, who is supposedly the goddess of wheat, I believe, which is the Virgo sign, that is why she goes dormant during those six years or six months while her daughter is in the underworld captured by the stalker, sinister, psychopath Scorpio. <laughs> I got some time on my hands today. What do you know? You guys are getting an extra long reading. Okay. So let me get into the messages of love. I just want to see what else is going on here. What else does Virgo need to know? What are the messages of love here for Virgo? <laughs> Losing my mind. Patience. There you go. Virgo, patience. Everything will evolve in divine timing. Just let go, Virgo. Let it all go. Let it all go. Warning. Don't dismiss the red flags. We talked about the red flags. The red flags is that devil energy. You're fighting... You're putting up a good fight, Virgo. You got your boxes on, you got your your box your boxing gloves on, you got your dukes up, but I'm telling you, whatever's going on in your life that's external um, or that you are battling or whatever you're battling in your mind, you might need to surrender this one. Take the L for a minute, okay? Just take the L for a minute. Just have at it. Okay, and, and let it all go so you can get yourself in a good or at least a better position. Okay, um, let me get a couple of moon pie messages here. What else do you need to know? Some of you are getting those red flags. And I mean, I am talking like these red flags. I mean, there's 80 million of them. They're huge. And some of you have been ignoring them for years. Okay, popular social female. So there's a Leo, Aries or a Sagittarius female who is going to be significant in your life at this time. In what way? I don't know. 
but she, and it's a female, she will be very significant. It could be you if you're not a Virgo sun, if you're listening and you are one of the fire signs, this could be you getting yourself, I don't know, in some type of position where you get that recognition or you become very popular in some way. Okay, transition. The end of suffering is upon you. Out with the old Virgo, in with the new. No one said this would be easy or has been. This season in your life is transforming and bringing you into a new hemisphere. Allow it to happen and go with the flow. It's now time for change. You know, when the cards speak, it's like backing up everything that I'm, that I'm saying here. Trust your intuition. The answer lies deep within you. Trust spirit. Wait for answers to be revealed to you. You're getting those external messages. You may not know what they are, but pay attention to them. They will be revealed from your spirit guides. Okay. Girls night out in the reverse. So basically this feels to me like, um, stay away from gossiping, stay away from excess partying, uh, stay away from people who do not bring you the support that you need at this time. Use your discernment. Um, don't listen to what the naysayers are saying. If anyone tries to tell you, that the decision that you're making for yourself to back out of the battle is the wrong move. Don't listen. Do what's best for you. If that means leaving that job, leaving that relationship, leaving those family members or those friends, you know, people are going to talk whether you, whether you do right or you do wrong. They're just going to talk. Let them talk. Do what you have to do. You also are getting a message from an admirer. Okay, it's a message. And okay, they just said there somebody here. Um, okay, this doesn't have to be romantic. They're saying somebody admires you for your courage and your bravery to do what you're about to do or to do what you've done. You are going against the grain. Even if this is fighting a battle or an addiction or some toxic stuff in your mind, you can't fight those battles unless you surrender. That's how you win against those. You have to surrender. So you're going to hear and someone is going to tell you, you know, I really admire you for what you're doing. And, and for, so you're going to get that support. Pay attention to people like that because you're going to hear it. Nobody's supporting you right now. Um, because they want you to leave that situation. Um, they're not going to try, they, they want to help you while you're in it, but you know, it's too much. They want you to, to escape and be happy. They want you to be in a safe place. And then, yeah, then they're, then you're going to like, things will change once you get into a safer, a safe place. I'm just hearing. Okay. Endure and be patient, man. You're being called your integrity is being called into question. Your abilities are being called into question. Your character. Hmm. That's an interesting. Okay. Hmm. Highly logical male in the reverse. Um. Okay. So this is a King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Again, um, this person significant in your life during this time. I don't know who this is. This person's corrupt. They're a con artist. Um, yeah, I don't know. Be wary of this person. <clears throat> con artist. Um, this person might be abusive. They might try to bribe you or try to change your mind. Um, be careful of people who um, give you that bling bling to try to get you to stay. That's that's bribery. That's uh, manipulation. Be wary of people, places, and things like that. You know, because that's the, putting that icing. Uh, that's putting lipstick on a pig, really. And it's like still a pig. <laughs> I mean... Hey, <laughs> see it for what it is. Don't be bedazzled by the glamour and the glitz. Okay. 
And yeah, look at that. Moving to a safe place. There you go. That's what I was saying. So, all right, I'm going to get a couple of charms and then I'm going to go over to the extended reading and see what this external energy is, what's going on there. You also, external to you, have someone who's giving you, dropping some truth bombs as well. Okay, so we have the Eiffel Tower. Um, now, either that's the Eiffel Tower or they're saying Paris or Paris, Texas could be significant to someone. And then you've got oh, a dove of peace coming with. Hold on, let me see. Oh, a four leaf clover. Hmm, very interesting. The Dove of Peace. It's not a shamrock. It's a four-leaf clover. So, peace and luck. It's interesting because um, I'm seeing like a round piece of wood with a carving of a dove or a bird in flight with a clover in its mouth. It's like a picture or a plaque or something or it's got an emblem like that on it somewhere okay okay you've got oh okay you have a half a moon half moon um when is the next half moon hold on let me look that's significant okay november 16th that's an, a significant day, November 16th, coming up. And that actually, I'm not sure when the moon's, the, when is the moon going to change? Hold on, I wrote it down. The next moon phase. Hmm, okay. The next moon phase is going to be November 8th, and that will be a total lunar eclipse in Taurus. Okay. So that week between November 8th and the 16th, something very significant is occurring. Okay. Let me get one more. Oh, they keep giving me this unicorn. Oh, wow. Beautiful. That is so pretty. I love it. Yeah, something here to do with a unicorn. You know, this is a mythical creature. Okay, this unicorn. Something unique. Something unique and special. Hmm. Remember how I said you can't lead a ho you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it drink? Um... It's connected to that, <laughs> this unicorn. Rainbows, colors, magic, fairy dust, all of that. There's a connection to some kind of unicorn. Maybe you see it somewhere. You see like, a, or maybe it's a picture of a unicorn or you will see it coming up. And, and so a lot of times these charms are indicators for you to remember this reading too also, or that the reading is for you. You know, a unicorn is a very strange thing to see. You know, you might even see um, a postcard with, you know, an Eiffel Tower on it or some connection to France or Paris or Texas. Okay. Um, but I feel like you need to keep that in mind. There's some type of connection to this reading for someone here. All right. Let, let me see. Should I do? Yeah, I'll do some of your numbers here you guys how long has this reading been i haven't done a reading this long in forever okay we have libra aquarius taurus double aquarius here all right gemini hello gemini we see you we know you're here cancer leo taurus again yes gemini Gemini's, Gemini's trying to be heard right now. Gemini's trying to be seen and trying to be heard. I don't know why. Okay. Taurus again. Capricorn, Virgo. Capricorn is twice. One more shot. All right. Scorpio, 
Taurus again, Gemini again. Taurus double eyes. Okay. You guys, I don't even know. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. But take heed. All right. So we have September 6th, September 5th, the 7th, the 9th. Um, I also am picking up the 23rd. It could be September, could be August. Okay. Um, February 20th. No. February 2020 was the six. Sometime, okay. So they're telling me the month of February, the years between 2018 and 2020, significant time period. Um, somebody is 40 years old. Okay. Area code 312. Um, somebody just bought gas or is buying gas and it's like three ninety five for a gallon of gas. Are you looking at, you're like, oh my gosh, you're filling up your tank right now maybe? Somebody might be. Um, somebody was born in 1979. And I think, is that the year of the pig? It could be. Somebody's 33. Okay. Um, November 7th and November 8th. And also, um, 1987, significant year. 23 again. Okay. Um, somebody's, I don't know if this is an address. It's four numbers. Maybe it's a phone number. Um, or there's numbers in this phone number. 3050, I'm hearing. I'm also hearing 7864. Oh, and then you've got one 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 okay november very significant sometime between the 17th and 18th 16th 17th and 18th very significant time period something's going to occur what is going to occur i have to ask what is going to occur between the 16th 17th and the 18th What is going to occur between November 16th, 17th, and 18th? Denial. Detaching with love to clearly see the truth. Okay. So some of you, that's going to be the day, you know, that you are going to actually pull yourself out if you haven't done it yet. Or you are going to get that extreme truth. And just remember, when I was showing you the moon card and the four of wands reversed is coming up in the near future, that's that time period. That's that intuitive understanding that it's time to go, right? It's not, I want to go. It's not, I've left, but I'm still hanging on. This is full disclosure. This is full detachment. That's when the healing begins for all. Okay. Coming into balance because I feel like maybe you've been giving way too much. Like I said, you've been giving just way too much. You know, I'm going to end your reading. I think that was pretty long. I'm going to go over to the extended again to see what the external energy, um, what's playing out over there. So the link will be in the description box below, you guys. Um, I may have to up the price a little bit just by a dollar um, due to inflation <laughs> but we'll see I may not do it um, I'm uh, maybe 50 cents I'll take a look but either way if you're interested in finding out more this was a long reading but if you're interested in finding out more with the other people places or things or what other messages are coming to you what changes could actually occur um, after you if you make a decision to walk away and, and just move on with your life like fully right? We'll see how things play out for the next three months after that. Um, after this. All right, you guys. So thanks for being in the chat. Don't forget to smash that like subscribe button here. I would greatly appreciate that. And I will be back tomorrow with your weekend reading to see what the messages and energies are playing out for the weekend. All right, you guys. Love you. See you tomorrow. Bye.